Hi YouTube, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make golden fish cakes. They're actually really easy to make and they are really delicious and they are really perfect to have a light dinner that you can serve with a side salad or whatever kind of vegetables that you would like. I'll go through the ingredients with you, show you how to make it and then share with you the end product. So make sure you carry on watching this video. The first thing that you want to do is get 400 grams of potatoes, peel them, cut them in half, put them in boiling water and cook them for 20 minutes. Whilst they are cooking, you can then go onto the fish. So I've got 150 ml of milk in here. I've got eight peppercorns and one bay leaf. And you want to bring this up to a slow simmer. Now what I've got here is 400 grams of mixed fish. So I've got salmon, smoked haddock and normal haddock. And you can get these in packs frozen or you can get them fresh from the supermarket. If you get them frozen, make sure you defrost them before you do this bit. So I'm gonna add this into the milk and you wanna cook this in the milk for roughly 10 minutes until the fish is cooked all the way through. So how can you tell that the fish is cooked through? If you place a fork into the middle bit of fish, it should go through easily. So it should slide through. If there is any resistance, it is not cooked properly. So you want to just give this a little stir and then leave it to cook for 10 minutes. Whilst I'm waiting for the fish to cook, I'll talk you through what I did with the mash. So for myself and my mum, we love leeks. So what I did was I got one small leek and I cut it up really finely and I just softened that off with some butter. And then for my dad, who doesn't like leeks, I've just left his out. So I've got a little bowl here of mashed potato. I seasoned the mash with salt and pepper and I added some butter and then exactly the same for the ones that I'm making for me and my mum but I've added some leeks and I've just mashed these in and the leeks will just give a really good flavour but if you like my dad and you don't like leeks then you don't have to add them. Also what I'm going to be adding a little in a little while is half a zest of one lemon and then I've got roughly two tablespoons of fresh parsley, which I've just chopped up. And then to help bind the breadcrumbs when I form the fish cakes, you'll need to whisk up one large egg in a little dish. Make sure there's room in the dish, because when you do coat your fish cakes, it just makes it a lot easier than having a really thin, narrow bowl. So one egg whisked up, and then once you've dipped it in there, you then want your breadcrumbs. You will need a frying pan and you will need some oil to cook them in after. If not, then you can oven bake them for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown, if you don't want to fry them and you're trying to be good and healthy. Now that the fish is cooked, you want to strain off the excess milk. So get a sieve, uh, preferably metal, and put it over a measuring jug because you do want to save some of the milk that you can add to the mashed potatoes to make it really creamy. So I'm just gonna strain this off very, very carefully. Ooh, like so. Try not to get it on the table, just like I did. And then strain that through. Now you wanna remove the peppercorns and the bay leaf, because if you bite into a peppercorn in your fish cake, it will just be horrible. It will be the worst thing ever. So try and spoon these out. That being done, you want to get two forks and what you want to do is you just want to mush up the fish so it is in kind of just biggish chunks. I don't want to make it until it's really, really flaky because I do want to have some texture of the fish in there. But you just want to mix all of the different fishes together so then you've got a little bit in each of the fish cakes. Now time to add your chopped parsley. So I'm going to add the majority into the larger amount and then a smaller amount into the mashed potato that doesn't have the leeks in for my dad. And then with the lemon zest, I'm gonna add just a little pinch into the mashed potato that doesn't have the leeks. And then I'm gonna add the rest into the one that's for me and my mum. And then I'm gonna add the majority of the fish into the one with the leeks. And then the rest of it go into the one without the leeks. Oh, I've just seen and found a peppercorn. Oh, no, thank you. So push this in. Then what you want to do, just to moisten it up, because the mashed potato might have gone a little bit cold, therefore it's a little bit harder to mash up. 
I'm just going to add a tiny bit of milk that you cooked your fish in. So the infused milk from the bay leaf. And then what you want to do is you just want to mash all of this together. So you want to make sure that there is fish all coated in lovely mashed potato. Because I seasoned my mashed potato with salt and pepper and I used salted butter when I mashed it, I'm not going to season this. And plus the addition of the leeks and the parsley and the lemon zest, I don't think it would need any more seasoning because it would be far too overpowering. Once that's all mashed together, now I'm going to make my fish cakes. So you want to grab a little bit of the mixture. Now it depends, how many this makes depends on how big you want to make your fish cakes. So I'm going to make them roughly a medium-ish size like so you want to make sure that you've kind of smoothed it over and that it's even on both sides so it cooks more evenly so i want to make it about that size hopefully you can see that and then you can place them on a plate or i'm placing it on my worktop because i know it's sanitized and i'm going to carry on making these once that is done you are then ready to coat it in the breadcrumbs so i'm going to do my dad's first so I'm going to put this cover it in egg and then you want to get your breadcrumbs and you want to just cover it completely in the breadcrumbs ready to be fried I'm going to carry on doing this yes it is messy but it is really fun to do so I'm going to get cleaned up now and then I'll show you how to fry them off place two at a time and I'm cooking the ones that don't have the leeks in first so then it gets no leaky flavour whatsoever. So you want to cook it on one side for roughly three minutes on a medium heat. Once they are that colour, then turn it over. Once they're golden brown on both sides, you then want to put them on a plate with some kitchen towel so it absorbs the excess grease. There you have it, some amazing golden brown fish cakes. Now I can't wait to eat these. So I am going to try one and then I'm going to save the rest to take to my parents' house later. Now what you can do is you can reheat these. So what I'll do is I'll take them to my mum and dad's, they're going to be a bit cold. So I'll put them on a baking tray and I'll put them in a preheated oven about 180 degrees for about 10 minutes. And then they'll be just as perfect. So you can eat them fresh like this or you can reheat them. So once you've plated up, Serve it with some lemon wedges, some tartar sauce, or like I said, some side salad. You could always make mini ones and then you could have like a little sharing platter. So I always have a little bit of tartar sauce. I think it goes really, really well. I'm not gonna squeeze any lemon on just yet. Now I have let these cool slightly. So I'm breaking them with my fingers. Oh wow, well. less fresh washing up. So I'm gonna break these and then I'm gonna see and taste. They are delicious. The leeks give it a really perky flavour. Then you've got the zest of the lemon, you've got the beautiful fish coming through, the creaminess from the potatoes and then that crisp on the outer coating is amazing. I have hoped you like this video. If you haven't already make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. So I will see you in my next video.